Philippine news today. Please subscribe and then check notification box to get all breaking news alert. Working for the top law enforcement agency in the nation comes with a certain amount of pressure. Not only do you risk your life daily in taking down the nation's top criminals, but some of those criminals would destroy your life in a very different way. Of course, dodging bullets from drug dealers is a given, but the more smooth criminals might want to leverage your career to cover up their indiscretions, and that could be just as bad. While most of the boots on the ground type members of the Federal Bureau of Investigation probably go into their jobs with optimism and patriotism as their driving force, and they don't care what the political affiliation of the person they're defending is, it seems that if agents want to rise through the ranks, it's got to get political. In the case of many of the top members of the FBI, their political contacts rivaled that of the top politicians on Capitol Hill, and with good reason. This has become a major issue in the recent investigation into President Trump, since the powers that be want to pull the strings to make sure that the president is completely compromised, and if they've got to use the FBI to do it, they don't seem to have a problem with that. While FBI agents aren't supposed to let their own political feelings sway their decision-making, the evidence is pointing to that just to just not being the cases with the FBI investigation into President Trump. As if the recent information that has come to light about FBI Special Investigator Mueller wasn't enough, another former assistant director at the FBI just dropped the bomb about the investigations into President Trump, and it's just what we feared. According to Infowars, James Kellstrom is telling anyone who will listen that this whole Russia collusion story is just as bogus as President Trump has been claiming that it is. Former FBI Assistant Director James Kellstrom told Fox Business that patriots within the FBI are about to go public with huge new revelations that could sink the credibility of the Russian collusion investigation. Kellstrom said that a fifth estate has been working to sabotage President Trump, lead by a bunch of sycophants in the FBI who are guilty of obstruction of justice. He added that the goal from the outset was to destroy the presidency of the United States, a claim backed up by the revelation that top anti-Trump FBI agents had settled on an insurance policy, namely the Russian collusion investigation, to topple Trump if he defeated Hillary. Even if the evidence to support a connection between the Trump campaign and Russian entities were correct, and you know, existed, if the FBI had it before the November 2016 election, they should have been investigating it then. If there were really evidence that a top political candidate was working with the Russian government to manipulate or out and out steal an election, the American people deserved to know, and it's painfully obvious that if it had existed, they would have brought it forward to combat the Hillary email scandal. However, the evidence at this point says that the Russian collusion story was nothing more than a lot of tidbits that could be thrown around and made to look like a connection so that enough uninformed people could be frightened into believing the liberal narrative as to cause as much shadow over the Trump administration as possible. They were in Andy McCabe's office plotting some kind of thing and I think that some kind of thing is what we are seeing right now, said Kellstrom remarking that the entire Russian investigation was very depressing for many patriotic FBI agents. Kellstrom agreed with host Stuart Varney that a cabal within the FBI and DOJ that protected Hillary Clinton has been attempting to bring down Donald Trump for the past year. The former assistant director then dropped the bombshell, suggesting that insiders within the FBI are about to go public with new revelations about Mueller and Comey. I think recent events that I'm aware of, are going to improve that, because there's going to be something actually something that's going to happen in my view," he said. I think there's a lot of patriots that have just had it up to here, with what's going on. And they're to step forward and tell people what the shenanigans have been, how they shut down the Clinton Foundation investigation, how other things, you know, were done that are so anti what the FBI and United States is all about. Kellstrom added. Sadly, we live in a time when there are many people who will do anything to sway the political leadership of this nation and they wouldn't let a little thing like legality get in their way. 
and unfortunately, there are enough people who are willing to believe anything that the mainstream media tells them that the president is caught in the middle of a never-ending battle to clear his name. It's time to put a stop to the FBI-endorsed slander that has been threatening the democracy of this nation for far too long. H slash T, InfoWars. Follow us on Facebook at Freedom Daily. Daily.